It's just so scary to see your children hurting. Mommy, it hurts so bad. Poor baby, poor Clara. Broken foot is hurting too. How did you break your foot? Tell you we're at a doctor's office right now and we're waiting to get called back it's not looking good we're here with Toria and Clara and something has happened to their feet I don't know about this Toria are you gonna be okay with the x-ray So we just worked through a couple different um, things and Tori does have a fracture in her foot. This is your second broken bone in cast. So I like this color. we worked through the grief of that and now we're on to the fun part of I like picking this. colors. So I which like one are you going to do? Like you like the green and blue one? And this one. Okay. This is the important fun part. So which one? You can only do one. Which one are you going to do? This one. So the blue one? My jeans. Oh. Okay. So this is quite an adventure. We were here two years ago. And we're back here again with a and little I tiny fracture. This. I know. And I'm touching the same thing that I touched. Um, yep. That was which, which one did you pick last time? The purple one. one. <laughs> That's so fun. Learning we had a broken bone is, was not the fun part, but we're over that and we are just pressing forward. Toria is so brave. One of the bravest girls I've ever known. Mommy, I want this one. The blue one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to get some sparkles. Ooh, how fun. Do you want me to video you getting it? And hopefully, hopefully this is the last time we were here, right? <laughs> yes. I hope baby born Clara didn't break her foot either. I know, Dr. Tulip is looking at her right now in the exam room over on this side. I hope she's okay. Can you go and check on her? I'm a little worried about her. She might be in a lot of pain. Broken bones hurt so bad. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be right back. Let's go check on her. I hope baby born Claire is okay. Okay, hey, Clara, don't worry, x-rays don't hurt. Let me explain what we're going to do. First, I'm gonna set your foot here. Now, which of your feet hurts? Okay, so it's your right foot. Please stand up. Okay, now we're going to shine the light on it. Okay, here we go. You're doing great, Clara. Okay, now we're done with that one. Just one more to go. You're doing great, Clara. Great job, all done. Dr. Tulip, I just came 
came in to check on Clara. How is she doing? How are you doing, sweetie? Well, we just took some x-rays, and I'm really sorry to say, Mrs. Kelly, that she has a broken foot. Oh, no, not her, too. Clara, no wonder you've been homiling. Oh, no wonder you've been so sad. I'm so sorry. Well, it shouldn't take us too long to get it casted. So, like, how long will she need to be in a cast? I can't believe this. This is the second time she and Toria have broken bones together. And it's at the beginning of summer again, just like last time. Well, we need to get them fixed up. That's what's most important. Well, I better go check on Toria. I hope she's doing okay, too. to pick all your glitters. She does everything with her whole heart, so. Yeah. It's looking pretty, Toria. How does it feel? You're walking in it pretty good. Okay, so how do you cast Baby Born? Okay, here are our supplies. Are you doing okay, Clara? She's just so focused. Don't worry, Baby Born Clara. I'm right here. Dr. Tulip's such a great baby doll doctor. Okay, it'll be better soon. I know it must be so painful. I can't imagine a broken foot. Okay, I'm just gonna move you a little bit. Now I heard that Toria in the next room got some sparkles on her cast. Would you like some sparkles on your cast too, Clara? Yes! I thought you might like that. stepping out of the casting room and it looks like they're done so we're gonna head home. Toria and Claire are a little shaken up so I'm hoping we can cheer them up. Come on, it's okay Clara. Let's go. Let's go home. Come on Toria, let's go. Well we just made it home as you can see and the girls are in some pain. so bad. Poor baby, poor Clara. Broken foot is hurting too. It's just so scary to see your children hurting. Hmm. You know what? I just got a new something that might help them feel a little more comfortable.
about ready. It's a self-inflating mattress. Come on, Tori, try it out. How do you like it? I like it. This way you can just rest. How does it feel, Clara? I keep on sliding off. Good. I hope this is just ultra comfy for you. We can move it around around the house wherever you want to rest. Oh, thanks, Mom. Oh, but Mommy, it still hurts. I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't imagine. A broken foot. That must be so painful. Hmm. What should I do to cheer them up? Maybe something in the kitchen. Phew, it's been such a big day, but we can't let it up. I have to keep baby born Clara and Tori's morale up. I'm to get them their little lunch prepared. So for baby born Clara, I have... Ooh. I made up some homemade um, carrot puree. This is just steamed carrots. I think she'll love this. And for Toria, I have just these little gummies, little fruit gummies that I think will help her feel just a little bit more satisfied. I hope it's all just a special treat for them on this day that they're just not doing well. I have a little treat for you. <laughs> Yay! Yay! That looks so good, Mom. Here we go. This, I hope you like this. Is it good? <laughs> can Clara, can you sit right here? Oh, are you ready for a yummy snack? Okay, first bite. Can I feed her? Sure. I hope this will just be fun for you all. Ooh. You ready, Clara? Ooh, yeah. Your cast is so pretty, girls. Mmm. Mmm, you ate that whole bite. Is that good? That's so good. Another bite? Oh, she might make a mess. How are, how are the chews? Good. Good. I like you, to speaking of fruit, do you notice these purple little stains on Tori's arm? What are those? Tori was out mulberry picking. Mm-hmm. And they stain really bad. The fruit juice stains, but are they good? Mm -hmm. We have mulberries growing wild around our property. Come on, my feet. Look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that looks terrible. That is just mulberry juice that has literally stained her feet. You are getting so messy eating, but at least you're happy. Mmm. Is that good? She looks so happy. Hopefully, it's taking her mind off the pain of her broken foot. Now there's one question that I think we're all wondering. How did you break your foot? I bought a, a um, mulberry tree. You were picking mulberries and you fell off? Yeah, and that's why this, um, there's this thing got stains from the fruits, huh? And They're not bruises, gratefully. And my foot. And her foot is all stained. <laughs> so it's be okay. careful, huh? Yeah. Gratefully, it wasn't a very big fall. And don't jump any height. That's yeah. higher than 10 feet. Oh, 10 feet would be a pretty high jump. But you girls jumped off something that was a little too high. Mm-hmm. It is just a little tiny fracture, but it's still a fracture. Mm -hmm. So, Tori's message is, don't jump off chairs or ladders that are too high. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it just happens if you just fall wrong. You can just kind of fracture one of those bones that are a little tiny in your feet. Mm -hmm. It should be a rough couple weeks. We have four weeks in a cast. Now, go watch the video when Toria and Claire broke both of their arms for real. so scary to see your little children hurting. Oh, mommy, it looks so bad. Claire was crying too. Her broken arm is hurting too. How did you break your arm? Hi, 
Hi Dolly friends, it's Renee here and Christy and Victoria and Clara. We just got home from the what, Christy? From the ER. That's right, it's just so scary to see your little children hurting and that's how Clara and Toria were. They took x-rays of their little arms and they both broke the radius in their arm close to their wrist. Christy's been my big helper here and baby Emma and Daddy C stayed with Kate over there. Yes, little Kate stayed asleep through all that drama and she's sleeping so well. The folks at the ER were so good to us. They just took such good care of the girls, took x-rays, put on splints and slings, and we're just grateful to be home, but we've got to get to bed. It is 10 o'clock at night and we have a very important meeting in the morning going to an actual bone doctor where they'll put on like the hard cast. I hope Toria and Clara stay asleep through the night. I know they're in a lot of pain. Good night, Toria. Sleep well. Hope this little arm heals soon. And you too, little Clara. Oh, poor little babies. Good night, little girls. Oh, I am so exhausted. It is so late. Are you tired, Christy? But I still have one big question on my mind. I do too. Are you wondering too? I know, I still don't know actually how Toria and Claire broke their arms. I had just put them to bed and I heard a big thump. You were in there too, Christy. You heard a thump but didn't see exactly what had happened. And Toria was too worked up to really explain what was going on before she fell asleep. All I know is that they were really worked up and there was a lot of tears and crying, but I don't know what happened except that they fell somehow and Christy, you were already starting to fall asleep when that happened, weren't you? So it's still a mystery. I'm hoping tomorrow Tori will be able to explain what happened. For now, I think we're gonna go to sleep because we're tired. It's late. We were just at the emergency room. We'll see you in the morning. girls are okay. Come on, let's go. It's the day of their big appointment. I hope they're okay. Oh no. Toria, Clara, how are you doing? Oh, oh mommy, it hurts so bad. Oh, Toria, I'm so sorry. Oh, that must be why Clara is crying too. Her broken arm is hurting too. Should need some pain medicine. I think you're right, Christy, but there's just one problem. They can't take pain medicine on an empty stomach and they haven't eaten since last night. I'm not hungry. I'm not surprised. Sometimes when people are in a lot of pain, they don't feel hungry. I think that just means that we're gonna have to think of something extra yummy for Clara and Toria to try to get their appetite going. Christy, will you be my helper? Let's go make a good breakfast for them. Maybe an oatmeal or fruit. Oh, that's Kate. I'm sure she's hungry. She's not in any pain. Well, good morning, little Kate. I'll take your passy. Can you be girl? This is Claire's twin sister, Kate. She has a feeding tube, and I'm sure she's pretty hungry, aren't you? She can help us make breakfast for the girls with the broken arms. Well, I'm so glad that Christy and Kate and I can have some time together. Oh, Kate wants me to pick her up. Come on, Kate. Well, now we're all together. Because sometimes when some of the other siblings have problems and need more time, it's special to spend time with the ones that are feeling fine but maybe not getting as much attention. Huh, each one of you is so special. Okay, let's keep on making this breakfast nice. Christy's making some cereal for the twins. Oh, how was that, Christy? Good. So she's making 
the breakfast for Clara and Kate. I hope Clara will like that. I'm just trying to make a special breakfast for Tori. So we just got some oatmeal and I need to add some special things now. Hmm, what should I add? Here are all of our spices, sage, oregano. Let's see what else do we have. Turmeric, cayenne, cumin, Italian seasoning. I'm looking for, oh, there it is, cinnamon. I just pulled out the little white bed tray that I get out when the girls aren't feeling well. And we can't forget the twins bottles. <sighs> it's a beautiful flowers to make their tray just look pretty. There we go. I think we're ready to take this to your sisters now. We just had a little accident on the way to drop off the tray to the girls. Things like that happen sometimes, but ooh, that's a mess. Thanks, Christy. We'll try to put this tray back together. Well, at least the food survived. Don't worry, Toria and Claire, we're coming soon. We've got to get them their medicine. We've got to get them their breakfast. Gratefully, the food survived. That's what's important. Just a little bit much to carry the flowers and the tray and the food. So we're a good team. Let's go feed our hurt little sisters. pretty bad. Yes. They're just being so brave about it, aren't they, Christy? Yes, I'm so glad you girls are enjoying your oatmeal. Um, do you know how they broke the arms? I still don't know. We'll need to ask Toria. I think she's settling down a lot, even though she's in pain. Maybe she can tell us. Oh, Toria and Claire, why are you so sad? Oh, My arm hurts so bad. Oh, yours must be hurting too, Clara. Now that they've had some food in their tummy, I guess we could give them their medicine. So now that we've got them their medicine, it's getting really close to the time that we need to go to their doctor appointment and get their hard cast. This is um, a real doctor that we're gonna take Victoria and Clara too. We've got to get them ready to go. We've got just a couple minutes before it's time to leave for the appointment. I think this is a good time to ask Toria what happened, don't you think? Toria and Clara, we were just wondering, how did you break your arm? By falling out of Kate's bed. You fell out of Kate and Clara's bed? Mm -hmm. You just tumbled to the ground? Mm -hmm. Did you fall at the same time, Clara? Yeah. So you both fell together and kind of crashed? Mm -hmm. And you just hurt your arms? Mm -hmm. That's what it sounded like too. So they both just fell and broke their right radius bone in their arms. Oh, you girls are so brave, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's the alarm. It's time to go to the appointment. Are you ready to go get your casts? Yes, we are. Oh, very good, well let's get going. Well, Kate, we will see you in just a little bit. Christy, thank you so much for taking care of Kate. You're welcome. Oh no, what's the matter, Kate? Oh, don't be sad, Kate. Uh -huh. We'll be back soon. Mommy always comes back for you. Maybe we can spend some special time together later. Bye. Don't worry about us, Mommy. Okay, thank you so much, Christy. Bye. It's time to go to the doctor now. Let's head that way. So we are on the road right now. We are getting close to the doctor's office and hospital where they'll put on the real cast. Victoria and Clara have been so quiet, so I'm gonna just check on them. I hope they're not too nervous. Clara? Victoria, are you okay? You feel a little nervous? 
doctor will take care of you so well, I know. Look up really pretty. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Three five. foot five. That's awesome. <gasps> Yay! Yay she's so happy. Too. She says, hooray! Look! She gets a break too. Claire and Toya just got their splints taken off and they ordered x rays. So they're just getting ready to take another set of x rays. We'll tell you how it goes. How did the x ray go, girls? Good. Good. Was Clara brave too? Yeah. Good. You're being so brave, Toria. So we are just waiting for the doctor to come back. We got our x rays done, we got our splint off, and we're just waiting for the doctor to come back and put on a special cast. And we're super excited because the nurse told us that they have some special casts that even have glitter. Here are some different charts of all the bones in your body and this is the radius bone that Toria and Clara fractured right about here. So we have some good news. The doctor just came back and checked on the girls and brought this really fun little set of colors that they get to choose what color cast they get to get. Purple? I'm not surprised. You like purple and I know Claire always likes purple. It's gonna match your bracelet, Clara. You're picking out your glitter colors. There's a lot of glitter, huh? You're gonna just be a sparkly girl. Okay. And now it's Clara's turn. Here you go. You want to take a picture with her? Yes, you probably should, girl. I want to see her. How do you like your cast? Can I see your cast up close? Look at Tori's has beautiful sparkles, and Clara has a beautiful purple one too. I know having a broken arm isn't how you pictured your summer. Maybe the summer won't be fun. Yeah, <laughs> summer. Something you want to know. Wendy! Sarah, well, how is your arm doing? Mine is very bad. But it's kind of hard to have a cat. And in it, Sarah, he can't do all the fun things. Like playing in water. Oh, good. We can do a dot dot at our evil. So hard to paint a nice picture when you have a cast on your hand. <laughs> it's so hard. When you're white handed, your white hand is broken. Isn't it, Clara? Mm -hmm. Baby the summer won't be fun. Yeah, oh, summer. It's so sad.
organize our sensory kits. You love Hatchimals, don't you, Kate? Do. Don't you? Mom, I heard Toy and Claire were talking. They sound pretty upset about the cast. That they can't do anything fun. Oh, really? I wish we could cheer them up somehow. Hmm. How can we cheer them up? Maybe we should brainstorm. I know. What should we do? <gasps> I know! What? Toy and Clara love hats and wolves. That's true. What are you thinking about that? We could have a hats and wolf party the day they cast come off. That sounds perfect! I wonder who that could be. mail from you all. Our dolly friends. Let's see who it's from. Wow. That's so cool. She put drawings and stickers on it. Let's open it up. Oh, Mama, we should let Clara and Toya open it too with us. That's a great idea. Toya, Clara. says, hi girls play dolls. I love your channel. Keep making exciting videos. Oh, we so will. Look girls, she drew some pictures. This is Dr. Tulip's bag and it says for the twins. That's for you, Kate. And Clara. Here's Dr. Tulip, Christy, Toria, Renee, Kate and Clara. And I think that must be baby Emma. And, and she even drew a bone for Rosie. Oh, Rosie loves it. This gives me an idea, Mom. Baby or Dolly friends would love to send some mail to Toya and Clara. Look how much Toya loves getting mail. Wow, that is an amazing idea. Toya would love that. But what can we do today to tear them up? What's the matter, Rosie? Rosie, what's the matter, puppy? Okay, Rosie. Did you want some food? Here, Rosie, that's the season food. What's the puppy have for you? Clara and Toya for feeding Rosie. You're so good with animals. Hey Christy, seeing Toya have so much fun with Rosie and feeding her, it gives me an incredible idea. There's actually so much that Toya and Clara can do with one hand. Really, like what? I think we need to surprise them with a special trip to feed some special animals, don't you think? Uh-huh. Not so fun to take some little and feed Rosie. What shall we do? Now is our working on. <laughs> We've got to go talk to Tori about this. I think she's going to be pretty excited, don't you think, Christy? Yeah. I know having a broken arm isn't how you pictured your summer. So we wanted to give you a special surprise. We are me. A wildlife park where you can actually feed real wild animals like giraffes. That's right, giraffes. And then camels. Right, camels. Feed lions. 
it's gonna be so much fun. What's really cool about it is that Toya and Clara can feed animals with their other hands. This fella's trying to for I think Clara thinks so too. Come on girls, let's go feed the animal. What is it, Emma? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can we walk through there? <laughs> tickle me! Did the kangaroo tickle you? Yeah. That's the baby one. I wonder how she wants. Can you believe that we actually got to pet real kangaroos? There's a huge surprise. We're coming up to a tortoise. Do you want to pet the tortoise, Clara? Come on. Whoa. Whoa. I've never seen anything so big. Wow. And he's eating grass. You want to get away, Tori? She likes it. Make sure you clean your hands, Kate. Oh, now we can go find another animal. Come out. Let's go find the camels. Canines. Whoa, yes. <laughs> it's a baby. Are you ready to go find the next animal? The camels. Okay, let's go find the camels. We haven't found them yet. Come on. Um, All the other girls are a little nervous, but there is a hippo feeding. Chrissy feels like she can do it. So let's see if she can feel you to hippo. Are you sure you want to do that, Christy? You think you can? Maybe Kate can help you. And you're going to throw it in his mouth. Good try. Yeah, one more. To the road. Toya, you're so brave. Whoa! So close. Good job. Okay, so Christy and Claire want to feed some more seeds. Look at all these beautiful birds. Okay, girls. Oh, wow. He wants to feed it too. What do you think about that, baby Emma? The birdie's eating it. Those are called lorikeets. Yay, look what we just found, the camel. Christy, are you excited? Oh, yay, let's go ram. Uh -huh. There they go. Yay, hi girls. Kate and Clara and baby Emma, just a little too young to go, but look at how brave those girls are over there. Riding their camel. You're teaching. You've been teaching Christy how to be brave. Wow! This is so much. Even if we can use both our hands. If you want to hear how Toria and Clara broke their arms, click this video right here, and we'll see you over there.